And now for more on the anniversary of the March of Return riots, founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies, Dr. Martin Sherman. Dr. Sherman, thank you as always for coming in. Thank you for the invitation. All right, so my, my first question, getting right into the, the heart of this issue, is Hamas is currently claiming Palestinian Islamic Jihad. Palestinians in the Strip are claiming after this weekend and after Israel's reopening of, of the Gaza border crossings, extension of the nautical fishing zone, they're claiming that they won. Would, well, you, would well, you disagree? You, you know, I think they may have good reason for saying that. Because if you look at the history of the last decade or so of Gaza, you've seen that there have been three large-scale military uh, campaigns in Gaza, starting with a cast-led and then a uh, 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 defensive pillar and then a uh, uh, protective edge. Mm -hmm. And uh, in spite of the damage being inflicted on uh, Hamas in each of, these, uh, each of these campaigns, they seem to have emerged eventually with their, uh, their military capabilities greatly enhanced. I mean, if you look back to 2005, the kind of ability that you see that Hamas has attained today would have been unthinkable then. And I think if anyone thought that that was what they're going to do, no one would have pulled out of Gaza. So I, I, I think in, in, in many ways we've seen, you know, whilst Israel's been so-called managing the conflict, they've been enhancing their abilities beyond all, uh, uh, all recognition, in fact, and all, all expectations. So, uh, you know, you know in, a certain, in a certain sense, uh, they can claim victory. So, is it, so I struggle to understand why Israel could put, possibly take Hamas's word when they say, okay, we're going to, you know, reduce the violence uh, ahead of this tentative ceasefire? Well, like you, I struggle to understand as well. Uh, I, I find it very difficult to, to so understand why, why anything, anything beyond the very short range uh, the, up to the elections back. I find it very difficult to understand uh, Israel's reticence in, in, uh, in dealing with this, uh, with this situation. I think, you know, I think far more assertive and robust action is called for. And uh, basically what we're just doing is kicking the can down the road. And as I'm saying, is the, the problem is not going to get easier to solve. Well, well I, want to bring, I want to bring Egypt into this equation now, because Egypt has been hard at work both keeping the violence relatively under control, I say relatively, uh, and also, you know, be acting as the mediator between Israel and Hamas and, and the other various uh, Palestinian factions in the Strip. What, why, apart from the fact that they are geographically abutting... Gaza. What does Egypt have to, to gain out of that kind of union between us and Hamas? Well, I, I don't think. I think the Egyptians are just trying to keep uh, keep calm. I mean, they have enough problems on their plate at the moment with uh, severe economic problems, an emerging water problem, insurgency in Sinai. You know, and, and uh, Israel is not exactly flavor of the month in Egyptian street. So, uh, if uh, large scale violence was to break out, you know, they may have. Uh, uh, instability within Egypt itself uh, uh, breaking out. Uh, you know, the, the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt is down, but certainly not out. So well, the Muslim uh, Brotherhood is globally is certainly not out either. Well, you no, know, but, but 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 even but even in Egypt, you know, and I think that uh, large-scale military action by Israel in Gaza could uh, reflect itself in unrest in in Egypt in, in protest against uh, Israeli action, and I think that the the Egyptians. Uh, Need as much stability as uh, they can uh, they can generate in order to take care of their very very grave domestic problems. All right. Well, at that rate, uh, we'll have to unfortunately end this interview. But Dr. Sherman, as always, thank you so much for coming in and sharing some of your insights on this. I hope we come up with some sort of solution to this issue as soon as possible. Thank you.